Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Adam and this is the Dynamic Thinking Project. Uh, you can listen and download this episode through our website, the mindtechinstitute.com or simply mti.edu.au. Now, this is the first episode and it's going to be short and light. Here are 23 mind hacks to make your life easier. The first mind hack is if you want to remember something easier or simply you don't want to forget it, such as maybe a phone number or an address, all you have to do, just say it to yourself several times out loud while you're smelling something. Could be a perfume, for example, or while you're touching your E or anywhere on your body. And then when you want to remember that thing, all you have to do is just smell the same perfume or touch your E. Uh, that's called focalism in psychology or anchoring, as we call it in hypnosis and in NLP. Number two, address people by their names. Everyone loves to be called by their names. And this actually establishes rapport as well as trust. You'll be surprised how much attention people will pay to you after you address them by their names, especially during an argument. Number three, if you ask someone a question and they only give you a partial answer, maintain eye contact and then stay silent. The other person usually assumes that the original answer wasn't good enough and they will keep talking. That's a great interrogation technique. Number four, whenever you are in a situation that makes you nervous, like public speaking event or going to a meeting, simply chew on a chewing gum. If you are chewing something, your brain will think that you're not in a dangerous situation, since you won't be chewing on anything or eating anything if you are in danger. This will help you to control your nervousness. Just make sure not to walk into a meeting while you're chewing on a chewing gum because that wouldn't look too professional. Number five, if you ask a person to do something small for you, a mental process called cognitive dissonance will make it seem for him or for her that they must like you because they did that small thing for you. Number six, before going to meetings or interviews, altering your mental state can do wonders. Act and think as if you have known these people for a long time and you're just going to catch up with them and meeting old friends and you can't wait to meet them again. Make mental sense in your mind that includes shaking their hands, look at them in the eyes and having an engaging conversation. Think about the stories you're excited to tell them. It's a very effective technique and will help you to be more confident. Number seven, if someone is angry at you but you stay calm, the person will most likely be angrier, but will feel ashamed about it afterwards. And often, the other person would be less angry because he or she will unconsciously copy you if you are calm. And that's what we call in NLP and hypnosis, pacing and leading. Number eight, and on the same note, when someone is speaking with a loud voice or yelling at you, Keep calm and speak to him or her with a calm and confident tone. He or she will also copy you. People usually yell especially during an argument is because unconsciously they think you cannot hear them. Obviously because during an argument both parties will be talking all over each other. So keep calm and address them with their names. And also smile. Of course if it's suitable <laughs> in the situation to smile. Number nine everyone holds a mental image of themselves and is willing to fight to protect it. So utilize this information the right way. Attacking a person's self-image can make him or make her dislike you. So try to avoid that. Number 10, the physical manifestations of stress, such as increased heart rate, nervousness, etc. are the same as those of carriage. So take advantage of this by reframing the experience as getting ready to do something courageous. Now, whenever you're feeling stress, you'll find yourself to 
do better when looking at the difficult situations as challenges rather than problems. Number 11, make the first thought positive as soon as you wake up. Think of something positive and that will help you during a day especially if you get yourself into a stressful situation. Number 12, people tend to remember the first thing and the last thing in an event. So during an interview or just whenever you're meeting someone out in the public, try to make a really positive first impression and before leaving them, also leave on a positive note because usually they will not remember what happened during those two points. Number 13, giving your child a choice when doing something will make them think they are doing it according to their own free will. Like when you want them to go to sleep, you can say something like, do you want to go to sleep now or after 10 minutes? And that's what we call in NLP and hypnosis, the double bind, as giving the illusion of a choice, but you're actually only giving options. And uh, if you think about it, that's how governments also keep the masses in control, or simply false freedom. Number 14, when you're on your first date, take your date to somewhere exciting. This will associate you with that exciting feeling and experience. Number 15, most people cannot tell the difference between brilliance and confidence. If you seem like you know what you're doing, people will be all around you. Number 16, if you are in a group meeting and expect someone or a group from the other party to challenge you, uh, sit right next to them. They will lose the pack mentality that makes them feel safe to attack you. And at least, probably they will ignore you, they will think you are one of them. Number 17, try to notice someone's eye color when you meet them. People like you more for the slightly increased eye contact. Yes, I said, slightly increased eye contact, not eye gazing, because staring for too long might get the other person to feel uncomfortable, and you don't want to lose rapport with that person. Number 18, if you make yourself to be really happy and excited to see other people, the next time they see you, they'll probably be a lot happier and more excited about it. Number 19, Emotional expressions are one way to cause emotions. If you want to feel happy, smile as wide as you can. Number 20. If you're at work and you don't want your boss to give you more work, simply walk faster than an average person at your workplace. You would automatically look busy and working hard. <laughs> We do business training for some corporations and probably they will terminate our contract because I just told you that. Number 21. If you want to eat less, simply break your meal into smaller portions and eat slower. This will trick the brain into feeling eating more than what you actually are. Number 22. If you don't want to eat much or you don't want to eat a certain food, Simply place your food in a red plate or red bowl because red is processed as stop or warning in your mind and this will help you to eat less or not to eat that certain food. And number 23, if you want people to pay more tips at your coffee shop or a store or restaurant, simply place a green tip jar for tips. Obviously, the brain sees green as safe, positive, go and it's good to go these 23 mind hacks will make your life a bit easier especially when you're applying them in the right time and the right situation that was the first episode of this podcast we usually talk about different subjects but i had to upload something it's part of the technicality of a podcast and i wanted to upload something that can be useful for our listeners so i hope you enjoyed it and uh, please check our website, themindtechinstitute.com or mti.edu.au. We have lots of interesting online courses such as NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, Hypnosis, Life Management and many other online courses. And next episode is going to be a very interesting episode.